This is Alin from Javelin, continuing to explore the new functionality introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2013. The idea for this video came from a customer of mine who was trying to fill all the interior cavities of his part in order to 3D print that specific model. Um, since I cannot use his uh, model, I'm going to use the flashlight that you guys know from uh, the assembly course. and. Um, if you're looking in the um, section, you're going to find out that there are quite a few items that are internal. And SOLIDWORKS has a pretty nice tool to allow you to identify the internal items. So if you use a advanced selection, uh, you have this option to select internal components. And as you can see, there are four components that are internal. Now, what uh, the design intent is, actually not the design, but what the end result is supposed to be, all these cavities inside need to be filled. So let's see how this can be done. The first thing that you might want to try is using the defeature tool. But in this case I found out it doesn't work really really well. Uh, especially because my customer wanted to uh, get uh, an exact geometry for the outside faces. So if you try the defeature here, uh, you're going to see something uh, strange happening. Uh, let's say I want to remove all the internal components. And uh, show me... Um, hide all the internal components. So let's take a look if that is happening. I'm gonna do that. And it looks like the defeature tool wasn't able to identify these things as being internal. So that's part number one. But still, I can keep going forward because the defeature has this uh, ability of filling the internal volumes. So let's see what we got. And as you can see, not only it doesn't fill the internal volumes, but actually it creates some uh, crazy uh, shapes here. Looks like this face gets untrimmed. So I'm going to say that the feature is not the tool for this specific uh, endeavor. Um, what I can try is to save this as a part. So let's try save as, select the part as the option. And let's select, uh, save out only the exterior components. And let's call it um, Field part. Okay, so save. And let's open this new part. It's pretty much the same as before. The only thing that you notice is that I got rid of the internal components. Now let's see how we can fill this uh, interior. And uh, this is where intersect makes so much sense because it's not used only for merging the solids that are um, touching but also to fill all the cavities inside if you want to. So let's try intersect. Notice I have the filter on here because you can do something really interesting. You can actually turn on the solid bodies filter, select one body and because the filter is on, actually even without selecting anybody, because the filter is on, I can just press Ctrl A and it's going to select all the entities of this type, so all the solid bodies in the part. So let's use the intersect command. And I'm not going to remove any of these regions. It's going to try to merge all the bodies that are touching. And let's do a section through here. And as you can see, all these cavities that are completely enclosed gets get filled. I have two solid bodies right now. This is number one and this is number two, so the one on the bottom. And that's only because if I'm doing a section through through here, let's uh, try to go in there, you're gonna find out that it's a bit of a clearance between the pin and the... So as you can see, there is a clearance here. That's, that's the reason this cannot be merged. But actually, I'm even more impressed with the capabilities of the intersect because it was able to merge the things that are touching and it was able to identify the two bodies. So as you can see intersect can be used uh, with success in order to fill all the cavities from inside your uh, models. Thank you very much.